Hi everyone and welcome to Flatlanders RV Travels. Come along with us today for a tour of the Old Highway 86 campground located in Blue Eye, Missouri. Old Highway 86 is a Corp of Engineers uh, campground located on a peninsula on the shores of Table Rock Lake. And as a result of being on a peninsula, virtually every site has a view of the lake. So as we make our way into the park, you're going to notice on the right hand side is the dump station. And we're just going to go ahead and give you a closer look at that. It's a pretty nice dump station. All the sites are electric and water, so you do not have to stop here uh, to get potable water, but they do have a spigot there for you to use if you need it. Old Highway 86 is a wonderful, quiet campground located a short distance from Branson, Missouri. Although a small campground, it has many sites available to accommodate the likes of many. As we're coming up to the stop sign here, um, you're going to notice on the left hand side, that's where the dumpsters are located um, for the campgrounds. And then we're going to make our way to the right here, um, where it's sites 1 through 8. I don't know if you can notice, but some of the, um, these sites, one through eight, have a little cover over the picnic tables, and it's just uh, sites one through eight that have these. Just ahead is the beach area, but we're going to turn around, and so you can get a better look at the sites that are on the left-hand side. Next year, we're gonna take a look at sites nine through 67, and um, we're just gonna follow this along the outer side. We're gonna come up to a little fork here in the road, but we're just gonna keep to the right, and we're just gonna follow this along the shoreline. Uh, Old 86 offers 71 reservable campsites, which can be reserved at recreation.gov. The online reservation system has a map of sites with photos of each site. Many campsites are adjacent to the water's edge and the remaining campsites are only a short walk away. The sites are level, paved, shaded, and nicely spaced out. We're approaching the end of the peninsula where sites 19 through 24 are, and there are some vaulted toilets on the left-hand side that you can see. We were also on site 24, which was an excellent campsite to have. We had wonderful views. We're gonna continue around um, on the north side of the peninsula and the sites on the right-hand side, we're starting with site 25 and we'll go to 35. Old Highway 86 is a jewel in the COE campground system. The sites are beautifully laid out, spacious, and the location on a spit of land into the lake gives nearly every site a great view. It is one of our favorite COE's campgrounds. It won't disappoint. We're going to go to the left here, and this is right back at the beginning uh, where we started, uh, sites 9 through 67. And we're going to um, veer to the left here um, where the, the road comes um, to a fork. And this is sites 42 through 67 in this section. And this is basically uh, the road right in the middle of the peninsula heading out towards uh, the end.
In here we are basically going to go back down the same way that we came just uh, so you can see the sights on the left hand side a little bit better. This is a wonderful campground. The faci facilities are excellent, very clean, spacious sites, no sewer, but there is a dump station. Each site has a designated area for the picnic table and fire ring, plenty of trees, paved pads, spacious, no Wi-Fi, but strong enough AT&T signal, not sure about Verizon or T-Mobile, uh, plenty of OTA stations on the TV, uh, very quiet campground. I'm going to show you next what the uh, inside of the women's uh, shower house is like. Um, excellent. It, all I can say, it was very clean. Uh, definitely would take a shower in this place. Um, it's got my approval on it. I have not been in a campground that had this clean of a bathroom. There were shower hooks to um, hold your towel. They had a bench in the shower. Um, just, just a real class A um, shower house. This next part, um, we're gonna just uh, start with site 35 on the left-hand side, and I'm basically going back around the outer loop uh, of the peninsula so you can kind of get a better look at the sites that were on the um, waterfront uh, sites. This next little section is the very end of the peninsula. We were on site 24, and in my opinion, um, I believe site 22 is one of the best campsites uh, here. But you really can't go wrong with any of the sites. They all pretty much have water views, um, and I would definitely look forward to going back to this campground. If you're enjoying this video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and ring that bell for notifications so you're notified every time we upload a new video. The road getting to the campground is a bit hilly and curvy but doable. The only surprising thing was the steep hill which twisted and turned on the way down into the entrance of the campground, but it was still okay to navigate. Next, we're going to be going into this little area, Site 68 through 77, and this is the last, last area that we're going to show you. Site 68 is here on the right-hand side that is a pull-through, and there are two other uh, campsites down on the water there. I did not uh, get a chance to get that on video. So site 73 is kind of odd. Uh, your camper is farther back on the site to where your uh, picnic table and fire pit is. Uh, site 75 is a pull through site. And when we go back around this circle and come back around, you'll see what I'm talking about with site 73. Site 74 is um, a pretty good site as well. So we're coming up to site 74 and then there's 73 and you can see what I'm talking about with the site, uh, the picnic table and um, being so far away from the actual camper. Site 
So right after this fifth wheel on the left hand side, there's two sites, site 71 and 70 down that way, which um, I did not get um, on the video. Sorry about that. Coming up next is um, I'm going to show you the beach area uh, that they have there. Um, there is uh, kind of neat. There is a basketball hoop here in the little um, circle area. Uh, there is also a pavilion that you can rent for the day. The beach area um, really consists of rocks and pebbles, so you want to make sure that you have some type of water shoes when you go to go swimming there. They do have a, a fairly large swimming area. Here we're going to take you by the boat launch area. There is uh, some room for your um, truck and trailer for your boat and um, it was a really nice area but nice boat launch and they have a nice pier um, to use putting your boat in and out and then just off of the um, boat launch area is we're going to make our way back up um, towards the beginning where we were at the campground tour uh, there are volleyball courts on the right hand side and a really nice uh, playground equipment for the kids well, hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Um, I'm going to close it out with the Branson Bell going by our campsite. Happy camping, everyone. Thanks for watching.